Hand. Now Kenya needs to grow its GDP by about 6 to 8 percent and create 1 million jobs annually for the next 10 years to maintain a competitive growth trajectory according to the United States Ambassador to Kenya, Meg Whitman. She spoke at the fourth edition of the Amcham Business Summit which kicked off Wednesday in Nairobi. The summit was seeking to catalyze trade and investment opportunities between East Africa and the United States of America and deliberated on technology, the green economy over the two-day period. President William Ruto was the chief guest at that event. are very keen to see um, the impact. And you can see our summit keeps getting bigger. We have over 1,200 delegates here today. A lot of them coming in from the U.S., coming in from the region. Of course, we have our own Kenyan private sector, the regional private sector here. But at the end of the day, the objective is create those meaningful connections that would lead to investment outcomes. But as I said earlier, the whole objective about this or behind this is to ensure that we can drive economic prosperity and create jobs that we can get our youth and women and others in. I have said this before. But it bears repeating. If I were back in the boardroom today, I would have Kenya on my radar screen for two important reasons. Supply chain diversification and net zero emissions. Investing in Kenya offers every business the opportunity to diversify their supply chain and not rely on a single country or two. This is imperative given what we learned from the COVID pandemic and the war on Ukraine. In terms of the concerns on, uh, of American companies participating in tenders, you know that we have the Public Procurement and Disposal Act that has new regulations. We want to promote competition. We want to promote transparency so that American companies can have a fair a fair chance and a fair uptake of the tenders that are there. My ministry is very keen in shaping the environment, the business environment, working closely with the Treasury and other departments. The consistent strengthening of Kenya-US ties and that of our region is exemplified by the steady growth in the value of bilateral trade, especially its acceleration between 2015 and 2022, when Kenya's negative trade deficit narrowed significantly from Kenya shillings 85 billion in 2015 to Kenya shillings 13 billion in 2022. It is our intention that that gap will shortly close. Our achievements and progress in this regard are reflected in Kenya's steady rise in various global indices and rankings that measure the quality of investment climate and business environment. We have not stopped working on our institutional frameworks through legislative and regulatory interventions, as well as capacity building and effective coordination of stakeholders and strategies to elevate our investment profile. Well, uh, that uh, sort of brings us to a close of the first part of the show. On the second part of the show, we'll of course we'll get into the.